Fora TV. The world is thinking. I uh, wanted to know, are there any studies or any theories on the effect of the new technologies, Blackberries, chat rooms, the, the computer on perhaps de-evolving us yeah. and our emotions? Yeah. <laughs> Write the book. <laughs> you should. Because it's, you know, I will, uh, man, is that a, a very important question. Um, you know, uh, when you look at the... Uh, at the literature of human adaptation, right? Uh, what we know is that we are these amazingly exquisite communication instruments with the face and the voice and touch. We've, I do a lot of research on touch. Uh, big parts of the brain have evolved to pick up information about where your eyes are moving and specific facial muscles. Antoine's been part of that. The voice. Um, that is really our, our core, a core part of our, who we are as humans. Um, and regrettably, the technologies are depriving of us of these, these opportunities to develop that. And I think, uh, you know, uh, uh, one interesting anecdote is I, as a rhetorical question, I was making the point in my class recently that you have to live in the physical presence of somebody to fall in love with them. It's kind of a truism, isn't it? They have to be around you, right? And I was sort of chuckling and I said, how many of you have ever been in love with someone that you've actually never physically seen? And a third of the class went hand, hands up like that. And I was like, well, good luck reproducing the species. Um, so, but, but the point is, is that, and I think, um, I think there's going to be, if you did the research right, my hunch is, is you would track how immersion in these new, new mediated technologies knocks out those systems and if you went even one step further, you, and you're Antoine, you could show immersion in text messaging may lead to less interconnection in the face perception parts of the brain. So that, I, I'm sympathetic to your notions. We don't know, though.